Tabitha with Military Wife Homeschool Life. And don't mind, don't mild, what the crap? This is like the fourth time I started recording. So we're just gonna go with it. I cannot talk tonight. Don't mind <laughs> the big pile of clothes. I always have a pile of clothes. The cat. And yeah. It's just always there, so <laughs> I didn't really want to move because um, today I am doing a video about our preschool curriculum. Um, I've been saying that I wanted to do a video like this for a while. I was actually going to wait because our year technically starts in January. We do year-round school and we do January to December as our year. But Ezra just turned four in September, and she really wanted to start school. And I already have, like, a ton of preschool stuff, so I didn't really buy much for her. And so we have started school. Um, she is kind of like Aiden, so I call her Aiden Jr. She doesn't particularly like school, <laughs> and most days we don't get a lot done, but she's only four, so... It's not a huge deal right now. I'm not worried about it. But if she wants to do school, we definitely do it. If she's in a mood and she doesn't want to do anything, we don't do it. Um, but I do have a ton of stuff. This looks like a lot of things. But we don't use these things every day. And yeah, I'll kind of explain it when I go through it. But I also wanted to explain that for... The other kids, I'm going to wait until I order all their stuff and do that video later on because our year is ending basically for us. And then there's only a few things that I need to order, but then I will do a haul for them, kind of. Like, I don't know if this isn't technically a haul, but this is stuff I already had. Um, so yeah, our homeschool curriculum for preschool. So I'll turn it around and show you all the goodies we have. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like. And then I have this pile or this tub of some stuff. I'll explain that in a minute. Okay, <clears throat> so I kind of have it laid out, but <laughs> I don't know where to start. Um, We'll just start with this. This. Okay. So this is the daily learning notebook. Um, I did a video on this. I think it was like my first video I did. So I will like throw a card up here or link the video below. Something like that. But this is kind of what it looks like. Um, it has this stuff in here for her. Just different things. Um, yeah. There was already a video on this, so I'm not really going to explain it. But um, she really doesn't like doing this, so we don't do it all the time. I was really hoping to, like, basically just use this for our preschool um, and maybe just have a few other things. But she really hates just working out of this. She likes to do a lot of different things. So we do this sometimes, not every day, and um, if we do this um, every day, it's usually in the morning with the other kids because this is basically the other kids' morning folder. They do it in the morning, and so um, she, she'll do it when they're all doing it, but I really have to like sit by her and make her do this stuff. <laughs> so yeah. That's her learning notebook. This um, is school zone notebook or workbook. And you can get these at Walmart and Target. I got it at Walmart, I think. And you can get it a few other places. But in a lot of my videos coming up, when I do curriculum, you're going to see this. I cut up all of our books, kind of sort them out. They're kind of like sorted together. And I make copies of things. So I have a t 
ton of books that are cut up and I put them in plastic folders or um, different things and I keep them like this so that I can use them with other kids. So um, this basically has pre-writing skills, colors and shapes, alphabet and basic phonics, numbers and early math, and readiness basics and I think that's it so anyways I kind of have it sorted up um, into different I mean it makes sense for me it kind of looks like it doesn't but um and I just print things off I put it in one of her little folders over there she has a folder that has work in it that needs to be done and then she has a folder that has um, finished work and she just puts it in the finished folder when she's done and she only does like, well, I mean, as many as I can get her to do in one day, but right now she just finished uh, the color red, the color blue. She did a couple of these pre-writing things. I think she actually finished all of them because she really likes these. Um, and she just finished up the letter A. She did number zero, number one. She's just starting number two. And she finished all the reading readiness stuff in the back. So, I mean, she kind of likes those little things, like what comes next and all that type of stuff. But anyways, that's how we do that. She also has these that I got from my mom. Most of everything I have is from my mom. That is for like preschool and younger because my mom was a preschool teacher for most of my life. Um, so yeah, just uppercase, lowercase, and it's uh, these are laminated, so she just uses a dry erase marker. And okay, um, yeah, I have her practice the letters of her name right now, and she's been doing the letter A, so that's what she practices. I don't make her trace all of the letters because she will freak out. She don't like to write or trace anything. So she does her name, E-Z-R-A, in uppercase and in lowercase, and then she's done the letter A. So then now we're going to go on to the letter B, and she'll do A and B, and then the letters of her name. And that's how we do that. Okay. She has two of these notebooks. This one, I need to really write on the front of these. This is her read aloud notebook, <laughs> mostly scribbles, and she hasn't done anything else. I'm pretty sure she's done more than two pages, but she might have used a different notebook. But, um, we do read aloud time, and right now we're reading uh, the Magic Treehouse books, because those were my favorite when I was a kid. And so when when I do read it aloud, they each have a notebook, and in their notebook they have to illustrate what I'm reading to them. Ezra doesn't really <laughs> draw pictures, um, but she just you know scribbles. It keeps her hands busy, and she sits there with everyone else while I can read a little bit. Because if not, she won't sit there. She'll run around and cause chaos. So. I still give her like a sticker for doing it and stuff, but yeah. And then this one, she has been working on tracing the letter A, and then yesterday she did her name. So I write big A and little A, and then she takes a marker or a crayon. Oh my word. I'm about to kill our cat. Um, and she takes a marker or a crayon and she traces over it. And then yesterday she did her name. She knows all the letters of her name. Like, she can tell me what they are. Um, for Z, R, and A. Uh, well, A. She knows big A and little A. She knows big E. She doesn't know little E. She knows big Z and little Z. And she doesn't know big R. But she knows little R. So, that's pretty good. She knows her name. She just doesn't really write yet even if I wrote her name up here and asked her to try to write it down here it 
it's not even like close. <laughs> it's just like scribbles. So she's just tracing things right now. That's it. Yeah. These I picked up at the dollar store. She hasn't. I don't know if she's done any of this. Yeah, she hasn't done this one yet. It's just an alphabet book. Um, it goes through the letters. Um, I don't know what that's like. Oh, you can cut out and make your own potato head. Okay. But yeah, she, I haven't made her do that one yet because, like I said, she's just tracing. And so these only have where you trace it once and then you have to write it. And she won't. She won't try to even write it. So I haven't made her start this one yet, but I just picked them up because they are at the Dollar Tree. They're just a dollar and um, yeah. I won't make copies out of this. I'll just let her do the book and then it can be done with. The colors one she has done. She did red and traced the word. Put the red cupcakes on the plate, the red cup or the red blocks on here. She did blue. And she just started green yesterday. And then shapes, I haven't made her start either because she just hasn't wanted to. I mean, it doesn't seem too hard. They're all like, just trace the words so she could do it, but I just haven't made her. She knows all her shapes, so I'm not like worried about making her start this right away or anything, but um, I would like her to like kind of want to do it instead of forcing her, but she hasn't really wanted to. And then the counting one, see? I had her start, she did all the ones, and then she just traced these. She wouldn't write them because she said she didn't know how to do it. So she like did the games, find the one that's different, circle one, fish and pond. And now we're moving on to number two. So there's that. These are just um, the Brain Quest, ages three to four. And they just have, you know, pictures and questions, and she just likes to play with these a lot. Um, we don't really necessarily use them for school, but um, yeah, she just really likes them, so we do them a lot, most days. Okay. This... I got um, at Sam's Club. It was like, I can't find a price tag. I'm pretty sure it was like $12.95 or something like that. But it has the ABCs. It has a picture, uppercase, lowercase, and all well, you can see it right there. And then a word, and you match it. Numbers, same. And then it has shapes and colors. That's pretty cool. Um, I have everything in baggies because the little dividers and stuff. My other kids tore up. Ezra, when she was like three or two, she actually chewed on a couple of these. So they don't necessarily even, gosh, I keep hitting the camera, um, go together. But yeah, the numbers go to number 20. Um, there's actually a set 1 to 20, and then there's a set 1 to 10, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then the letters, and there's shapes. I'm looking over the camera, sorry about that. And then there's shapes and colors. And she really likes doing this, but, um, with the letter, she doesn't really know all her letters. So she's like, I don't know what that is. And she like, just likes to do the numbers and the shapes and colors. But we're getting there. Okay. I feel like this is going to take forever. These are just a couple other shapes and colors, numbers and counting. 
books. Um, it says Mrs. Owen. That is from my mom. She used these um, for her kids. So she just passed them along to me. That's kind of what it looks like. Uh, I don't let the kids write in them. I make, I mean, these are tiny, so I didn't cut them up. Um, big, big books are hard to like copy and take things out. So I cut all those up, but these are tiny. So I still don't let them write in them and I make copies, but I don't cut these little ones up. And this looks like that. Pretty cool. And those were, should get them at Dollar General. So, pretty cute. Okay, now this we don't always use. Um, we usually do Bible together. And we are still talking about the fruits of the Spirit. Um, the kids really like it and enjoy it, and so we just haven't switched topics yet, but, um, I do these with Ezra. These are super simple Bible verses, and it has, like, hand motions, so point to yourself. I am with you. Touch your palms to your shoulders. And then Anne will watch over you. Shield your eyes with a hand and look to the left and right. Wherever you go, walk your finger fingers in a wide circle and that is Genesis 28 15 and so they're just simple short verses to help them memorize and has hand motions and so those are super cute uh, even my older kids like this and so we've used it a couple times but um, like I said we do Bible all together so if I find a verse in here that goes with something that we're doing, I will definitely use it, especially for Ezra to help her because I make the kids memorize um, the verse uh, or like a few verses depending on what we're working on. And so if there's one in here that's more simple for Ezra, I'll let her do that. Okay, I'm just gonna go. In the beginner Bible, let me read through this whenever she wants and at least once a day but I don't really do anything with this other than we just read it together and I got that on Amazon this is for her cut and paste um it has like you know it still has stickers in the back. Wow. Um, we just cut it out. There's like pages in the back that you're supposed to. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to copy. I don't know. It doesn't say. But um, just helps them with their cutting skills, and then they get to glue stuff. This one I just found at Walmart, and I really really like it. Um. Glue the kite to the string. So those are pretty cool. Um, I make copies with these as well. And that's what it looks like. Super colorful. And she also does... Actually, I'm going to stop the camera real quick. Okay, sorry about that. But she also does this for me. I will draw some straight lines, curvy lines, and she will cut them. I also had her trace her name right there, but um, yeah, she's been doing that for me too. Zig zags. <laughs> she, she likes to cutting is like one of her favorites. This is the most recent one she did, and I was super proud of her. Did pretty good. Like, stayed right with it. No ripping papers or <laughs> trying to go around it. So, yeah. Also, I'll explain this real quick. It's just a whiteboard and we do all kinds of stuff with it. Have her draw shapes, have her practice writing. She's only done A, so that or numbers or. 
we play games. It's, usually I use this with the older kids, but she does have one too. Um, I'll have like Aiden do math problems on his. I'll have the girls do different things on theirs. But they're kind of used for all kinds of things, so it just basically depends. But everybody has a whiteboard. Also, I have a bunch of these, which a lot of these things are in the big preschool notebook, but I have a lot of these from my mom, even some that aren't sitting here that are for older kids, but this one is tracing trails, pre-writing skills, this one's mazes, hide and seek, number skills. And beginning sound, which she hasn't used this yet, but we might. So yeah, I have a ton of these things. Um, the ones I didn't grab are for older kids, but they're on her shelf because my kids aren't probably going to gonna use them. Bob Books, she does the alphabet ones. Um... As she, I mean I, I read them to her and she just listens. It just has words and then a little, you know, a couple sentences about it. And then it does it for B and then a couple sentences about that. And then it puts them together. No words. But, um... Yeah, we're all, we've only done this one. Um, I actually have like the whole set of Bob books, but this one I didn't have and I didn't know why and I had just gotten it on Amazon. So we did the A, B one. These my mom made. Um, file folder games. This one's mix and match and it has these. And then it has little pieces back here and the directions on how to do them. A couple of these are missing some pieces, but yeah. These ones are just kind of like games. This one is supposed to help with shapes and colors. This one's a game. This one is matching lowercase and uppercase. I've had her do this and she, like I said, knows the letters of her name. And A, um, she knows C. She doesn't know big R, so that one I'd help her with. Um, and she doesn't know little E out of her name, but some she got because they look like each other. Like she guessed C, um, she did X, I think she did V and U, but yeah. They're just clipped up here, and we take them out, and she matches them. And my mom made these, so didn't get them anywhere and I didn't come up with it. It was all my mom. <laughs> also have these for her to mess around with and play with. They're just a bunch of um, lacing cards and there's actually, you can see that, a shoe one in there. My girls just learned to tie their shoes by using these. So I recommend those because it took us forever to teach Aiden. My girls learned in like a week <laughs> with those. And these were just from the Dollar Tree, and the shoelaces were at the Dollar Tree, too. Okay. These are counting cubes. We use them for counting. Or I have her sort the colors, or I have her get me, you know, so many red, so many green. And, yeah, that's all we've used them for. I got these at the Dollar Tree. And these are all the flashcards she uses do the alphabet numbers shapes and colors and there's a few other activities in there that she does um she knows all these words and she knows almost every animal in here these are pretty cool because okay, this is a moose she would know that right away but then on the back it tells about the animal a little bit and so she really likes that because are you kidding me? She is our animal lover, her and Kelsey, but Ezra Moore, she really loved the zoo and all kinds of animals, so I got those for her. Okay. 
This is our art. It says first grade to fourth grade. And we use a lot of Evan Moore stuff. We use him for history, science, art, spelling, and I think another thing. I'm not sure what the other thing is, but yeah. Um, this is first grade to fourth grade, but everybody does art together. And these are pretty cute things. Like, we're getting ready to do the scarecrow, even though it's kind of late in fall. Um, we never got around to doing it because art kind of comes last at least projects my kids color and draw and cut things up glue things together every single day like that's just part of their day they don't go a day without doing that but actual projects we don't always I mean math and reading and all that is more important than art so if we don't get to it it's usually not a big deal because like I said they color and stuff um but this is art for all the seasons and it literally goes through all the seasons so it has fall and then it goes into winter. Come on, come in. And then spring. Different activities. And then obviously summer. And if you don't get away, Trixie, I'm going to throw a book at you. Come on, go. And they have a few extra. Like, this one is... Let me look real quick. the crap anyway it's artworks and it talks about paintings and weaving recyclables nature clay printing so i'm not sure if we'll do that one next i really want to get this one this one actually talks about you know the colors textures um shapes lines and that's pretty cool because i have a few things that kind of talk about um colors and different things and my kids always ask what color makes this and what different things so um we might get this one too and do that and there's all these cool ones too i love his i don't know if it's a guy whatever but evan moore you can get a lot of his stuff at the christianbook.com for cheaper than his website but i i love like basically all his books i mean if I didn't already have a bunch of curriculum, I would probably buy all my stuff from him. Um, just because the other ones, spelling, history, science, those type of things, they just my kids really like them. And they find it pretty easy and simple to do. And I really like it. It's easy for me. And I also just copy out of this as well. Don't mind the crumbs on our floor. We didn't vacuum today. Um... And this is just a chart to 100. We count to 100 every morning because my girls really struggle with their numbers and memorizing them. So they do this three times in the morning before Bible. And this is the last... Oh, two more things. Two more things, guys. It's going to be a long video. And forgive me for being awful at it because this is my first... And hopefully I'll be better at it next time. We have two of these leapfrog tag pins. And then we have a bunch of books. Um, this is the kindergarten one. This is, um, Ezra uses this one the most. But it has a lot of neat things in here. Uh, counting, skip counting. I feel like, yeah, ooh. Somebody ripped that and then did not tell me about it. Months, seasons, just pretty cool stuff. And let me see. Ooh, it turned on. Tuesday, the sep Monday, the 16th. Tuesday, t Tuesday, t Tuesday, the 10th. Jesus. What the heck was that? Weird. February. Mm -hmm. February. That's a month in winter. Ooh, fancy. Winter. Anyways, I picked February because my birthday is coming up. <laughs> and my husband's supposed to come home in February. That's the only reason I picked it. <laughs> um, but we have a lot of these. A lot of these books. And that's actually just a... This is full. And yes, it's not technically reading, but 
if they're gonna do this for an hour, I'd rather them do this than watch TV. And um, it hasn't really helped with, I, we, we bought it to help with Aiden because he is a very struggling reader. Jeez, I'm trying to get to the back ones. I guess that's it. I thought we had a lot more than that. But um, Aiden is a struggling reader and we bought these for Aiden a while back. It didn't really help him. He still hated it just like he hates everything else. So the girls really like using them though. Okay. This my mom gave me and I absolutely love it. Um, I've added a few things to them, but this goes through every letter of the alphabet. We'll pick T since it's right here. And I'll open it up. Okay, so in the letter T bag, there is a letter T. There's a tiger. There's a turtle. There's a tea book. And it just... Ugh. Man, I should use something else. I can't use one hand and do this. Ten tigers. Ten tomatoes. Ten trees. Ten turtles. It's really super short. And then um, she put this little card in here that she made. Letter T is for turtle. And then I actually had a set of these books. Um, I got them for free at Books Are Gems, which you probably don't know about that unless you're in El Paso. But it's like a free bookstore for kids. And there's a free um, teacher resource room. And since I'm a homeschooling parent, I get to go in there and pick out any kind of free resources that I want. All for free if I didn't say free 300 times in that sentence. But free, free, free. And I got this whole set brand new for free. It was just the books. It's supposed to come with like some reading rod cube things. But the books were great to get for free. And they're pretty cool. And it's just the words. T words are there in this one. But these are pretty nifty. And yeah. So there's a bag for each letter some bags don't have a lot of things or some i added some like i added this dollar into the d bag and um there's a few other things but i um wrote down a list of a couple things that i want to get and while i'm at the dollar tree i look and see if there's anything that i could possibly put in with a letter um and yeah we have done a letter a which is right here on top it has an ant eater. There's actually two A's in there, and then there's two A books in the little card in there with the picture in Big A and Little A. Um, and she loves this. She actually wants to open up every bag and use it, but um, we're only going through one bag at a time. And we did letter A for more than two weeks because, like I said, she doesn't like to do school every day, and honestly, I don't really feel like making her until January start doing it a little bit more um so we're just now moving on to letter b um because yeah that's just what happened and i don't want to push her and make her do stuff because aiden like i say aiden hates school and people think i'm joking but he literally hates school um but yeah that's all i have for you guys and so instead of talking to you this way I'm going to flip it around real quick. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys. But that <laughs> was a lot of stuff. I do have like even way more preschool stuff than that. Um, sorry that the camera was wobbly and I was kind of crazy and had a lot of blank moments. <laughs> um, but this was my first video like this and hopefully I'll be better for the next one. Um, my girls are starting first grade, and Aiden is technically starting third, but a lot of his stuff will be first grade and second grade. Um, I mean, I don't know. He's just, I feel like I'm failing with Aiden, so if you're a homeschooling mom, let me know. <laughs> if you have a struggling kid, 
how you deal with that because I definitely feel like I'm failing with him. I don't feel like I'm failing with the girls. They are kind of behind for like public school, but um, I feel like they're learning and that um, they're mostly behind because I don't start when public school starts and I also don't like force them to do like all this kind of stuff in one day like they do pretty much all their subjects in one day but like if they're struggling and about to cry I don't like make them do it like you're gonna learn it right now so I mean we kinda just take our time and go at it pretty easy so I don't feel like the girls are like behind really um Aiden, I feel like I'm struggling really bad with. I mean, yeah. So if you watch my videos and you're a homeschooling mom, maybe message me because I could use a little <laughs> encouragement on that end. Um, and yeah, this is a lot of things, um, but we do not use them every day. Um, she mostly uses her two notebooks, the one that she traces in, the one we do read aloud with. And the cutting stuff she really loves to do, so she does that. But other than that, we don't really do all the things every day. And she doesn't do all this. Like, this is not all squeezed into one day. A lot of it is just extra stuff that I have, and I'll pull it out if she's kind of getting bored with other things, which usually she is. We do a lot of the flashcards and reading and the games because she doesn't really like to sit at the table and do bookwork stuff so yeah that's all I have for preschool and this video is gonna be so long I'm kind of dreading editing it because I feel like it's gonna be a mess of a video but I want to get a video up for you guys because I haven't had one up in a little bit I think our last one was painting pumpkins confessions of a stay-at-home mom that's the last one um so yeah, for Aiden and the girls, I will probably do their curriculum video either in December if I have all their stuff by then or January when we start because I should have everything in January. And then the next video is when, look over there, ah, it doesn't look that dirty, but it's a mess. The next video is going to be, I'm going to straighten up that room and get it all cleaned up. And I'm going to do a homeschool room tour. Um, yep, that's our homeschooling room. We do homeschool in the dining room and it's not fancy. It's not very neat, but um, that's probably going to be my next video because I want to get one up before I do the other kids'. Um, uh, curriculum videos. Um, uh, well, there's one other thing I was going to say. Arizona! We are scheduled to go to Arizona on Thursday. And today is, well, oh my word, guys. It's like 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> um, so today's Sunday. <laughs> uh, we're going to go there on Thursday. So I'll probably take you along for that. And hopefully we do some fun stuff and you get to see kind of how my kids are they're a little crazy um so yeah also I want to say I started a new YouTube channel I did post a video about that but if you haven't checked it out I will throw a card up here or link it below but um it's my weight loss journey and the channel is called new me new life and yeah if you'd like to check that out and follow me on my weight loss journey That'd be great. So check that out and subscribe to that if you haven't. And that is, I'm looking at my calendar like that's going to tell me if I um, needed to say anything else. But anyways, this is already terribly long. Sorry for rambling. Sorry for being crazy with the camera and all that jazz. But if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. I keep not looking at the camera and... <laughs> Um, yeah, subscribe, drop any comments below, ask questions, let me know what you think about what I have, and 
If you have questions about homeschooling, ask them. I will answer the best I can. Most of my answers will probably be from other homeschooling moms who gave me those answers. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I will talk to you guys pretty soon. Probably for Arizona now that I think about it. But, I hope you guys like it. And, sorry for it being crazy. But, that's me. I'm a little messy. <laughs> probably a little bit more than just a little bit. Um... So yeah, I should end it now. <laughs> Anyways, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching. And